Hi everyone, I'm Lori Whitlock and I'm here to show you how to assemble my double tote that I have designed for Sizzix. As you can see, it's a beautiful little thinlet set and it comes with all sorts of little embellishments that you can make a little tote that's perfect for holding nail polishes, little candies, or things like that. So let's get started. So I've gone ahead and cut out all the pieces for our project and let's go ahead and start by assembling this adorable little flower. I'll take the little brad and just go ahead and feed that right through the centerpiece and through the flower petals. And I love these flowers because they have a hole right in the middle and it makes them so easy to put together. And then we'll put the leaf on. We'll just open that up and we have a cute little flower for embellishing our project. I'll set that aside and I've gone ahead and put a little heart on the tag and the word friend and I've done another tag with an arrow and I'll set those aside. So let's get busy putting together our main box piece here. So you're going to need to cut two of these side panels and go ahead and fold on all those score marks. You'll want to get a nice fold and um, burnish those folds in place really well because that's going to make a big difference on your project. So go ahead and fold both pieces to look like that. So make sure um, you have those all prepared and then we'll go ahead and glue those back to back. So let's put some adhesive on one of them. just in this top section with the little handle. So make sure you get glue all the way to the edge so it doesn't come apart on you. And then we'll just line those up back to back. Okay, make sure that the bottom is even and you can wipe away any excess glue. Okay, so now we're ready to install the sides. These are the two side panels and I have a covering panel in the die set and the main side piece. So I've gone ahead and put those covering panels in place with a little bit of adhesive and now we're ready to put them on the side of our tote. So if you'll pull those sides up, you can kind of see that our side of our tote is going to glue in place right here. So I'm going to work on one little section at a time to make it easier. So I'll go ahead and put some adhesive on these little tabs here. Just those three. Actually, I'll go ahead and do this whole center section. But I want to leave these two pieces free. And then just go around the tote, gluing each of those little sections in place. The side and the bottom, make sure those are pushed into place really good, and then the middle. And you can turn it over on your table and just make sure you line those right up where they go and push down. And then you're going to do the same thing for these other two tabs here. So go ahead and put a little adhesive on those. Tuck them in and line them up with the side of your project. So that pretty much is one side of our tote completed. So now just flip it over and we do the same thing on the other side. And this side's a little bit easier to put in place because everything's held up into nice form. So let's just put adhesive on all those pieces. And we'll put this one in place. So that's the basic tote. Now we just need to add our embellishments to our tote. So I'm going to use a little pop dot here on the back of our flower. And I'm just going to stick that right on the side of our tote. Look how cute that is. And then I've got these little tags here. And you can um, also use the word celebrate that's inside the, the, the kit or the die set. If you want to make these for a little girl's birthday or something like that, or this makes a great little friend gift, you can fill this little uh, tote with nail polish or gum or candies, treats, whatever um, you'd like for a party, something like that. So here's a couple cute little tags on there. Isn't this adorable? I hope you enjoy making these little totes that I have designed for Sizzix. Have a great day. Bye-bye.